Hi everyone, it's great to see you on again on Gua Creator. Today I will create a monster that many people around the world adore during Christmas time, Krampus. During the past week, since I started working on the Krampus diorama, every evening after returning from work, I have bringing along the story of Krampus to share with my sons with the hope that he will break his bad habit of sucking his lower lip when he sleeps. I told him that this Christmas, it won't be Santa Claus who visits. It will be Krampus if you keep your lips sucking. And a miracle happened. My son has been slowly giving up sucking his lip. Let's go back to the Rai Rama this time. There are numerous characters I want to incorporate into the scene to create a maximum visual impact. However, with a short large number of characters, I need the support of a 3D printing device. In this video, I will introduce you an incredibly amazing device. I'm sure that I will break down any barriers you might have regarding 3D printing technology. Before diving into sharing experience with technological device, let's take a moment to appreciate the craftsmanship and meticulousness in sculpting the Krampus character by hand.
And next, if you are someone who knows absolutely nothing about 3D printing, struggling between choosing a resin or FPM printer, unsure about which brand to choose and how to set up and operate it, then let's listen to my sharing. GK2 is a machine that is easy to set up for immediate printing, aligning with the manufacturer's message. Simple at every step. First, turn it on and raise the Z-axis to reach the resin chain. With a design that doesn't involve screws, it takes just 2 seconds to slide out the resin tray, saving your time and making it easy to clean the tray after it's printed. Here is the unit carbon honeycomb filter of the circulation or the filtration system. And here is the bill plate with a very special design, allowing you to manipulate the bill plate quickly and accurately. To level the bill plate, First, you will loosen the four large outer screw counterclockwise, allowing the top and bottom parts to move. Turn the four inner small screws counterclockwise to increase the range of lifting the top and bottom parts. Next, you will lower the Z-axis so that the bill plates can touch the printer spring and the test paper. Gently tighten the four large screws, absolutely do not over tighten. Stop as soon as you feel resistance. Check the four corners of the test paper to see whether they held tightly or not. Turn the four inner small screws clockwise and raise the Z-axis to the starting position. They install the resin tray and other filter and the device is ready to print. First, I will bring a test of pie tree trunk with many small branches, which I believe will be a significant challenge for the TKT. After slicing the data file, connect the USB to printer and select the file to print. The next device I would like to introduce to you is the Unique Formation Cleaner W230, an ultrasonic plastic cleaner. Utilizing powerful ultrasonic technology, high frequency variation of 40 kHz will completely remove resin from the model in just a few seconds. The machine design features a special slot for the GK2 build plate, allowing you to fully submerge it in the cleaning machine. The primary concern for me in 3D printing is that I can easily remove support structures without affecting the model. With such dense support, I can still remove them very gently. GK2 did very well in this first challenge. Next, I will bring a character with even finer details. But before that, we need to clean the resin tray, remove any excess residue to protect the FPP film and LCD print. Next up, I will bring some mischievous characters from Crampers. Uniformation has shown great attention to a company and accessories, something I highly appreciate about the brand. I find the bill plates grips the model base very well, minimizing the risk of the model falling during printing. However, removing the model from it is extremely easy. And now watch as I remove the support from the model. With just a center motion, I can remove all the supports. Once again, GK2 successfully missed the challenge. And the final device I introduced to you in this video is the Uniformation UV Plastic Treatment Station. It features 16 UV lamps and 4 LED strips arranged on all sides, working in conjunction with an automatic turntable. Uniformation 3D is the second brand I have used in the 3D printing field. After a period of using TK2, cleaning W2VO and UV plastic treatment station. I evaluate this as a perfect setup equipment for those less experienced in 3D printing. If you are intending to acquaint yourself with 3D printing technology, I hope my sharing will provide you with a more comprehensive overview 
and guide you towards the right choice.
you for your interest and for being here with me in this moment. I hope that you have an enjoyable and relaxing time. Your attention and support are vital in growing my video and expanding its reach on YouTube. More people will watch if you share this video. I truly appreciate that support. Next week, I will upload another Christmas theme video, but this time, it will be a Christmas video on Big Island, where dragons coexist with the islanders. Look forward to it next Friday. See you in the next video. Bye!